right. My very first gin product and also my very first ultralight harness. So it's not much. It's a pair of underwear actually. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. All right. So it's not much. <laughs> and if you're considering to buy one of these and uh, you want to check the price, make sure to check if the carabiners are with the harness. It is on this one. It's lightweight carabiners. The reason for me getting this is actually that I want to have a harness that I can use for, for hiking, camping. So I can have a tent, maybe a backpack when I fly. Look at that guy, thinking it's a chest strap. It's actually an adjustment. So the harness has two adjustment possibilities. Number one is the shoulder strap. When the pilot is standing, they should be snug, but not tight. Number two, the lateral strap can be tightened or loosened to adjust the sitting angle of the pilot. This adjustment cannot be made during flight. It's, it's not, a, not a harness for beginners. It has absolutely zero protection. So it's a harness for those of us who has gotten a few hours and managed manage the takeoff safely. So the harness has lightweight carabiners. You see there's a security. These new types, instead of the traditional Brummel hook, it's actually better. You just make it like this and your speed bar will go like this. There you have it. Let's go out and try it. See how it is in the air and also how it is to ground handle with this one. Rider, harness, helmet is still over there. Three kilos. That's nice. Right, let's check out the windows first. It's actually quite a tricky take of this. So the trick is actually to get it up and then move over here. And just ground handle the glider as far up as you can, give you some distance to the edge, and then I'm ready, turn around and take off. So I'm going to put the glider back down, and I think uh, today we're going to launch you first, Christina. Try to put my glider down over there, so we have space to yeah to get your glider out, Christina. When it's wet everywhere, it's also nice to try and just put it down in sort of a, a cobra style, minimize the area you put the glider in, get it down. Just move towards the glider and it comes easily down. It's beautiful takeoff. Really nice. I think she might, I've, she, she was talking about just head out for, for landing, but actually she could also head towards this mountain, try and get some soaring time. Okay, I will clip into my, and we will test this new, new one. Ah, oh, come on. Need a little bit more wind than this. It's actually another paraglider over at Bjarne Landsfjellet.
Nope. Need a little bit more running space than this. Let's try and hike back up again. Get some more. direction see if we can find anything it's probably nothing you see down here there's a main landing the steam is already down there and about the harness it feels really good okay now I'm gonna have to make a decision doesn't work here, but we just have to, to head straight for the landing. We have something. Uh, no, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. Let's head for landing. Actually, we can try the speed bar. Speed bar is nice. You can see I need to adjust it a little bit more, but no problem reaching it. I really wish I had some different angle angles for you guys, but well, this is what I got. So there's one more thing I'd like to mention to you guys about the speed bar, but uh, I'll take that down on a landing field. Okay, gonna try land over towards Castina. So this uh, I want to mention to you guys, it's this was really good because on takeoff I adjusted it to just be like this, so speed bar is not in the way, but I couldn't feel when I pushed speed bar it was had no force at all, just sliding when you go when you went full speed. So uh, that was a really brilliant idea to yeah avoid this one from hanging all over the place. So there, Jin did a good job. Yeah, I think that concludes the harness. I would like to, to do some more ground handling, but what I felt on the top, I couldn't feel any like uncomfort or oh, I was really good, but I would like to do some, some hours with it. But uh, as we can see around here now, it's nada. <laughs> Remember to like the video, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comment section. Now maybe I got some hours in the harness and I can tell you a little, little bit more.